Everything is glued in nice and tight. We have to be diligent with our arms, keeping our limbs to our body here. Now, what I need to do is I need to create a little bit of space. If I bridge here, which is what I need to do, but I just bridge up, nothing's going to happen here. Other than, as I come down, she's probably going to take mount. So what I need to do is I need to turn my belt towards her. Already my knee is starting to slip into a little bit of a gap. If I manage to turn and create space and bring my knee in, perfect. Probably not likely as you go up the belts. What I'm gonna need to do is bring in a bit of timing, bridge up, create the space that I need to bring the tip of my knee in. I've seen this taught where people bring the whole shin in and it's absolutely glorious. The reality of sparring is it will be the tip of your knee. That is all you need. All you need now is to push off of that knee, push off of the frame that's underneath the throat and start making space. So take your head away from them. Now, the biggest mistake that people make is they don't address this arm. They push the head away to start um, regaining the guard and the person literally just slips back over the knee, underhooks the head and we're back exactly where we started, okay? So as you push away, once we're at this point, I'm now gonna double frame on that arm, blocking the underhook. This foot can come in, help me, push myself away. I'm making grips as I go. I'm pushing, 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 pushing. Now it switches. Now it switches to a big pull. As soon as I get here, I make a collar grip. What I ideally want to do is start to choke, but even if I can't do that, this is going to help me to control the distance, okay? One more time. Checking that your frame is locked in, nice and tight, glued in. Mount yourself up to prevent their mount. Now, take off that shoulder pressure. Get your partner to give you like a decent bit of shoulder pressure so that you get used to like rotating it off of you. Now it's the timing. We don't take too long on this. Turning towards them, your belt turning towards theirs. Now I'm able to bridge, using my arms at the same time, just slip in as much as my knee as I can. I'll start bringing in the other foot, pushing away, pushing away, checking this arm with both hands. Now I'm squaring up, squaring up, creating that distance. I'm not too fussed which guard it is. Butterfly is fine too. But if you're a white or blue belt, we should be aiming to lock the guard up, give yourself a little bit of breathing space to work, okay? I've pushed her away. Now, and I'm not just using my arms, I'm gonna sit up and bring her to me with everything. Lock up, deep collar grip here. If you wanna finish, come in for the choke. Let's have a little go, guys. Three, two, one.